Now my next artist is Viktor Zvyko from Russia, a very small village called Altai in the wilderness. So he grew up surrounded by wilderness, which was what inspired him to become an artist. As he grew up in this area, he decided that he must go to a college and he actually studied one at one of the second largest art schools in what was then Soviet Russia. After four years of studying, he then put all his skills to work. Now, of course, this was all the time when communism was changing, everything was changing in Russia. So he actually escaped to Rome where he sold his paintings living on bread and water for approximately 12 months until somebody did discover him and started buying his art. Now, of course, everybody wanted to come to America because that is where the money was. So yes, Victor went back to Russia, managed to get passage to America. Now, what I love about his artwork, as you can see here now, is that it makes you feel like you're actually sitting at this table at this cafe, where you would just see yourself sitting there sipping on that glass of red wine. And that is what it's all about. You purchase this, you put this in your home, and every time you look at it, you're taken back to this beautiful, it's actually Mykonos. And it's actually called Little Venice in Mykonos, and I have been there myself, so I've sat at a table very much like that. As you can see, we have all different sorts of works. We're also in uh, Venice on the Grand Canal here. I do believe there's another one of Mykonos over there. The Le Grand Bristro, which of course is in Paris. Now, we're starting off today uh, Victor's paintings also have a light to them, so it's wonderful to have spotlight in your home shining down on, as you can see how the light shines here now on the water of the Grand Canal. So today, most of the smaller paintings, now we have a starting price, of course, what we call a retail price. Now the retail price of all these smaller artworks is $500, but here with Princess Cruises, we start them off at the bidding price of $220. It is fabulous pricing. Now, do I hear a bid? So for one of the smaller ones, we'll start off with the smaller ones or any of Victor's works. Do I hear a bid? Anybody interested in maybe one of the works? Ah, oh, yes, the lady over there. And which painting are you interested in? The lower one in the centre. Ah, this one just here? No, uh, I'm sorry, the middle one. The middle one in the centre, yeah. this one here yeah. of Mykonos. Okay, so do I hear the starting bid of $220? Now, anybody else in the room? $220 going once, $220 going twice, $220 sold to the lady over there. Congratulations. May you enjoy your artwork when you take it home. My next artist this morning is James Pratt. And I have to admit, I have a bit of a soft spot for James Pratt. Not only is he from New Zealand, which of course is very close to my home of Tasmania, but I have met him. And girls, he's a really handsome guy, but he is married, but his artwork is magnificent. I mean, look at this, unbelievable. He is actually living in France part-time as well as the United States. Now you'll notice with his works, they're all one-off originals. So just think, if you owned one of these, this is the only one that's ever going to be in the world, on your wall. Now a little bit about James's technique. Uh, he uses oils, um, and he uses only the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, as did the masters. And he applies the oils with a palette knife. Now the palette knife gives you a texture, so you actually feel, you can, touch the painting and feel the texture of it and that's what the palette knife does to the artwork. Once again of course it's all my beautiful places that I love to go in France. This one here of course is the lily pads on a pond with leaves and we've got one down here as well. I'm not sure where it's somewhere in the Mediterranean of course. Now another thing about James he's been able to do his work because of his lovely French wife. She actually supported him while he went out there and got his technique right. Now what he does is he travels all around with his digital camera, he takes the image, he then goes back into his studio where he puts it down. He used to work in watercolours but he's now progressed onto the oils. And as I said, you've got quite a few different ones here, different sizes, is totally original. Now these ones here, the largest ones, $4,100. Now they would retail for $6,500. The smaller ones here, $3,100, which would retail for about the $5,000 mark. 
So, are there, is there anybody here who will be interested in any one of James Pratt's here on the wall at the moment? Ah, uh, yes, sir. The one just, this one just here, with the cafe scene in France. Okay, well that one is starting off at $3,100. Do I hear a bid for $3,100 from you? Very good. Anybody else? Do I hear three, two? Oh, three, two thousand, one hundred. Three, two, three thousand, two hundred dollars just over there. Sir, you were the first one interested. You're going to go to three, three? Thirty-three. Thirty-three going once. Thirty-three going twice. And sold to the gentleman over there in the back. Congratulations, sir. You're going to enjoy taking this home and having it set. And when you get home, it will be on your doorstep.